And then the next lesson, of course, is, as you said, um, evangelism, the word evangelism. Now, the second lesson deals with what is evangelism. After we have agreed that it is wrong to keep it to ourselves, that it is not right to not share our faith, to not do evangelism, then the logical place to go from there is to answer the question, well, what is evangelism? Right. And the question there is, is based off a statement or concept from Alistair Begg that says um, it's from the, 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 the natural expression from us should be what it is to men evangelize. That it comes from our heart. Evangelism should come from our heart. And, and you coded that and you added to that understanding that in your heart, deals with understanding and you say that we need to understand the necessity, the simplicity and the urgency of the gospel and evangelism actually um, in order to be effective in evangelism. Well, I think it's, it goes without saying that if you don't understand something very clearly, if you don't get it, then you can't pass it on. And part of getting evangelism, part of understanding the biblical concept of evangelism is understanding its urgency that, that you are walking down the road and we're having this discussion today in Brooklyn, New York. We're outside of our church. There are thousands of people every hour walking by this church. And every person who walks by this church who doesn't know Jesus Christ as their personal savior could be walking down to a Christless grave just down the road. This is urgent. This is a matter of life and death. And it's not only urgent, it's necessary, it's necessary, it's urgent, and it's very simple. And it's simple in that as Alistair Begg or Bob Lapine, the radio broadcaster who I heard in the discussion with Alistair, who said that evangelism should be something that flows naturally and spontaneously from the heart. It's not a project. It's not something to wring your hands about. When we truly understand evangelism, Evangelism really is one beggar telling the other beggar where he just found food. It's, it's back to the lepers again. And that is something that shouldn't be a big deal. It should be as simple as breathing. I don't think about breathing because if I don't breathe, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna suffocate. I just naturally breathe. And as Bill Bright, the founder of Campus Crusade for Christ used to say, evangelism really is like spiritual breathing. But what we're saying is that from the standpoint of scripture, as we, as we begin to look at Jesus' call to do evangelism, we need to begin to understand what he meant. We need to begin to understand uh, the, the, the basic fundamental elements of evangelism, because if we don't, then we will mistake so many other things that we do as Christians to be evangelism. Um, when I pass out a tract on a particular doctrinal pet peeve that I have and think I've done evangelism, I haven't done evangelism. So we need to understand what evangelism is to do evangelism right. We need to get the gospel right to share the gospel. So how, how does this topic or lesson fit into the overall effort to educate the church about the, um, the ten point vision of the, the, the church and, and why did you choose to include this in, in this series of lessons? Well, the vision of our conference is to help people grasp all ten of these big vision points, to break them down, that's why we have this quarterly, is to flesh out these ten points. And so here we're talking about evangelism and um, you know, helping people understand it is the goal of the vision. Uh, we hope to go on from the quarterly to writing a book. We're actually in the process of writing a book, Reflections on the Ten Point Vision, so that people understand that this is more than some big visionary idea, but that rather these are ten 
very biblical concepts that we need to break them down, put them on the bottom shelf so people can get a hold of it for themselves. Mm -hmm.